We have new Faction Rally winners, and it is also the Weekly Reset. So we'll be going over everything that is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If you enjoy my content, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So, for those who don't know, Future War Cult has won their very first faction rally, and it's all because of that wonderful catalyst. Anyways, we're going to get to that in just a second, but it also is the weekly reset, so we're going to go over the milestones. So, first off, we have Titan Challenges, which you need to complete three challenges while exploring Titan. Then we have the Leviathan, which you need to complete the Raid or the Raid Lair, either of the two. Then we have the Nightfall, and this week's Nightfall is uh, the Arms Dealer. And let's get the strikes out of the way while we're here. Modifiers on this are Arc Singe, Iron, as well as Grenadier. We also have Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, Crucible, and World Activities. Call to Arms, which you win glory by participating in Crucible matches. Flashpoint this week is on Titan, and if you do the heroic versions of this, you can get it done a lot faster. Then we have the Heroic Strikes, which you need to complete three. And last but not least, we need to celebrate with future War Cult. So let's go ahead and go do that now. So here we are by Lashmi, and there is a lot of people... Uh, here. I guess we all chose the uh, right faction this week. Or well, this past week. So let's see what we get. Celebrate with future worlds. Get all that, and I get to pick up this wonderful gun. The Vision Sidearm. And I have to get rid of Spot. And let's go ahead and get the Vision. Let's check it out while we're here. The war court is counting on you. So it is a sidearm with Omelon adaptive frame. Ooh. Well-rounded, reliable, fires a three-round burst. Then we have target SAS, short spec SAS, as well as farpoint SAS. This comes with accurized rounds, a pendant mag, and kill clip. Hmm. This is going to be interesting in PvP. So, let's go ahead and see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse this week. Always. So, like always, let's go ahead and start with the wonderful emotes. The first one is Fireworks. Next one we have is Good Idea. Then for the... Wonderful uh, vehicle, we have the Vespi laser. Ship, we have the uh, ambulance, I'm not even going to say the number, just a rescan. Then we have the uh, Vorfil, uh, Vorpil uh, uh, 8, I think that is. Yeah, 8. Ghost, we have the dolphin wave shell. And this actually comes with Titan Cache uh, Detector, as well as Improved Arc Analyzer. Armor of the Week is for the chest. For Warlocks, they come with one mobility, one resilience, and uh, two recovery. And then for ornaments, we have the Reef and Ruins, which is the ornament for the Telesto. And then we have the Symbiosis for the Sturm. As for our Transmat effects, we have Silver Spotlight effects, as well as Yellow Class Sigil. And then for Shaders, we have the Noble Constant Red, Dawn and Dusk, Monochromatic, Indigo Matrix. And last but not least, we have your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, of the Crucible, as well as a uh, Fireteam Medallion. Now... I never wanted to go over these before, but a lot of people have been asking about it, so let's go over the packages. First off, we have the Sleeper's Bundle. This will give you a Hypnopompic um, ornament for the Sleeper, as well as the Mad Son of Psychecles, whatever the hell you want to say, <laughs> Speeder. 
this is what the speeder looks like. I apologize. This is what the ornament looks like. And then you get a AI Commerce Speed and Reboot Transmod Effect as well as Fiery Team Medallion. And then for the next bundle, we have the Deep Freeze bundle. And I want to say it's a possibility that Sub Zero, which is the ornament for Cold Heart, is in here. No! I am so wrong! We have the Azure Azazel uh, speeder. And it looks pretty cool, actually. I do not have one of these. And then it also comes with Celebrate Newness, which is a transmount effect, and then Fermius Blue Shader. Ten of them. Kind of interesting that they didn't have uh, Sub Zero in it. Hmm. And then we have your Discovery Bundle. Which gives you three prototype engrams, ten ancient republic shaders, and five hundred bright dust. Next, let's go up to the prismatic matrix. This week we have the Lost Legend ship, as well as the uh, Kepri Lonox, Linax, whatever the hell, however you want to pronounce it. It is the ornament for the stag which actually looks a lot cooler than the stag itself. Then we have uh, helmet for the Titan, helmet for the Hunter, we have the ambulance freaking ship again. No idea why it's here twice. Then we have the blaster box, ghost shell. Comes with two random uh, perks on it. That was my phone. Then we have the Alton's Ambush for a speeder. As well as a waiting cask shell. And then we have two emotes. One is applause. And the other is air quotes. Don't forget to visit Cade 6 in order to get these treasure maps. What's the story? This week's treasure maps are on Titan. So go ahead and pick those up for 4,800 glimmer each. So real quick, I want to take this moment to go ahead and apologize for all that background noise. They're puppies. They're only five weeks old. There's really nothing I can do. You know, I don't, I can't put them in another room because they're in the kennel and I don't need anybody peeing all over my stuff. On top of that, even though Future War Cult won this faction rally, I'm pretty sure New Monarchy is going to go ahead and win the next faction rally and you heard it here first. And if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.